Is your car defective? Could it be a lemon? Well, what should you do and how should you handle repairs? 1-800-LEMON-LAW Communications Director Michael Sachs is back with us today to help. Welcome back to the program. Good afternoon, Amy. Glad good, to be here. Yes, good afternoon. Okay, so I'm experiencing problems with my car. Really, what is the first thing I should do? Well, you need to make an appointment with your authorized manufacturer's dealership. Now, when you go in and talk to your service advisor, you have to tell them what's wrong. If there's a noise in the car, where is the noise coming from? Mm -hmm. Is it when I'm driving fast, when I'm driving slow, did I just start the car? Car up, the more information you provide to your advisor, the more likely they are to fix the problem immediately. Very good. Now here's a question for you because my dad, from the moment I started driving, always wanted me to keep a log of like any issues, any oil change. I mean, a log for everything. It's a phenomenal just, idea. Oh, so Father he was knows right. best. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, the fact of the matter is, the more you know about your car, the better off you are. And when you go back to the dealer, chances are they're going to ask you questions because they want to fix this problem. Sure. The fact of the matter is, whether the dealership is getting paid by the manufacturer each and every time they're going in to fix this. And if after two or three or four chances, they still can't fix it, they're no longer getting paid. So it gets very, very frustrating to them. So the more information you provide, oh, the better off you are. That is so interesting. So if I do bring my car in to the dealer or somewhere for repairs, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people just get kind of nervous about that, worried you're gonna be taken advantage of. Like, what can you do to protect your rights? Well, remember, normally you're under a manufacturer's warranty. If you have a new car or certified pre-owned vehicle, you should be under a manufacturer's manufacturer's warranty. You can buy an extended manufacturer's warranty. Also, there are powertrain warranties. Know your warranties. Most of the time, there's not going to be a cost here. The key is to get the vehicle in. Many times we say, well, I have work. I have family obligations. Sure. Get that vehicle in. And every time that vehicle is in, make sure you get a repair invoice. It tells you what the mileage was going in, what the mileage was going out, what the problem was, and what was done to fix it. And keep those repair invoices. Don't throw them away. Right. Keep them in your glove compartment. You may need them if the problem continues to exist. So more documentation, the better. Absolutely. Now what if I really like, like I, right here in Harrisburg, I have a, a mechanic that I love going to, but if I'm under warranty, do I have do to go to the Do not go to an outside mechanic. Okay. If you are under warranty, you need to go to an authorized manufacturer's dealership. Okay. And here's why. Under state and federal laws, if you are back into the shop three or more times for the same problem, you are entitled to compensation and legal help is free. You can call us at 1-800-LEMON-LAW. Okay. There are state lemon laws, the Pennsylvania lemon law, if the problem occurred in the first 12 months or 12,000 miles. If it occurred outside of that, you still are entitled to significant compensation if you are in three times for the same problem under a warranty. But you have to go back to the authorized manufacturer's okay. dealership because the manufacturer is going to say, listen, this is a person who is trained to work on your vehicle. This is a person who may know if there's silent warranties on it, technical okay. service bulletins. But if you go to an outside mechanic, how can the car company still be held responsible? Now, what if this, though, you know, you, you mentioned going back to the dealership for the same problems, the same problems. What if you're always, like, hearing those problems or feeling them, but you go in and the mechanic says, I, I don't see it, I don't feel it? The power of a smartphone. Every time you Ooh. experience it, record it. Okay. Show it to the advisor. Ask to take the advisor for a test drive. Certainly intermittent problems happen. I mean, the more technologically advanced these vehicles are, the more likely we're going to suffer with intermittent problems. Sure. But you want to continue to bring it to their attention. You want to try to get it fixed. Okay. Because if you're trying to get it fixed, that counts as a repair attempt. So that counts like one of your three repair attempts. So what I tell people is look in your glove compartment, go through those service records. If you see there's something three of a kind, you need to call us at 1-800-LEMON-LAW because you may be very surprised. You may be having some compensation come your way. And if it happened in the first 12 months or 12,000 miles, you may be looking at a brand new car or a complete repurchase and the legal help is free. But, well, 1-800-LEMON-LAW, great Absolutely. great number to call. Thank you so much, Thank Michael. Thank you, Amy. Okay, well, keep it right here. We're gonna be back with much more here on Good Day PA on ABC 27. Seven.